Hello, my name's Bonnie, and I just wanted to share some worship thoughts with you. But first, I'll sing a song that uh, is from the scripture, and I just put some music to it. Hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this song. Um, I guess I'll have prayer before I read the chapter that we were reading. Dear Lord, thank you for your grace in our lives and for teaching us in spite of our stubbornness and help us to grow in you to follow the path that you have for us. Bless us, we pray, while we're with our friends and family and strangers. Help us to be a living light no matter where we are. Thank you for your grace. And be with us through this night. In Jesus' name, amen. So I'm going to read from Psalms chapter 6. That's where we're at right now. And um, yeah, okay. O oh Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. Have mercy upon me, O oh Lord, for I am weak. O oh Lord, heal me, for my bones are vexed. My soul is also sore vexed, but thou, O Lord, how long? Return, turn, O Lord, deliver my soul. O save me for thy mercy's sake. For in death there is no remembrance of thee. In the grave who shall give thee thanks? I am weary with my groaning. All the night make I my bed to swim. I water my couch with my tears. Mine eye is consumed because of grief. It waxes old because of all mine enemies. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity, for the Lord hath heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord hath heard my supplication, the Lord will receive my prayer. Let all mine enemies be ashamed and sore vexed. Let them return and be ashamed suddenly. Uh, the verse that really caught my attention in this chapter was verse 2, where it says, Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are vexed. And... The last verse, that's, uh, verse 9, right before verse 10, that says, The Lord hath heard my supplication, the Lord will receive my prayer. So this is David speaking, I believe. Yeah, it's David in chapter 6. And he is the king of Israel, and he's asking God, he's telling God, like, I'm broken inside, like, please heal me. Like, this is something that all of us, as humans, we can understand this feeling in our heart, but at the last part of this, where after describing maybe his pain and the conflicts he has with his enemies, he's asking God to help heal him, and then it says, you have heard my supplication. So in the midst of his prayer for help, he can already hear that God is listening to him, and we can know the same for our own lives, that 
even while you begin your prayer for help, God is already sending healing on the way. So don't give up. God bless and I hope you have a good night.